Hey, welcome back to another episode of Simple Truth Television. Today is March 15th, 2021. I want to talk about a pitcher that died today. His name is Julio Hoop. Eulogio Frankie de la Cruz passed away at the age of 37, supposedly from a heart attack. 37 years old, very young, very young man. So, UG, I can't say his first name. Eulogio Frankie de la Cruz, who pitched for parts of four MLB seasons with the Detroit Tigers, Florida Marlins, San Diego Padres, and Milwaukee Brewers has died at age 37. The news was announced Monday by the Toros del Este, De La Cruz's Dominican Winter League team. I and um, I'm curious to know the Jamachi of his of this team, Toro Del Este. Let me just see something real quick. Okay, so it's something 157 or 37 prime. He died at 37. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so uh let's see where it says that he died from a heart attack. Um does it say it here? Okay. So per Woodbury, media outlets in the Dominican Republic reported that De La Cruz had a heart attack Sunday night. So he passed away yesterday on March 14th, Pi Day. The 73rd day of the year. And he was 37 years old, this man. And notice his name in Gematria. He goes by Frankie. If you notice the headline, they emphasized uh, his middle name, Frankie. It's because it sums to 37, like how he died at the age of 37. And um, he was born on March 12th. So he died two days after his 37th birthday. He was born on March 12, 1984. That's a date with 37 numerology as well. And I just noticed now, as the video started, that um, the baseball team that he played for in the Dominican Republic called Toros del Este is some 157 in Gematria. And 157 is the 37th prime number. He died at 37. Just like I was named Frankie Sums at 37. But um, notice his full name. Well, I guess not his full name, but the name that he goes by, Frankie De La Cruz. It sums to the same gematria as ritual sacrifice. And it also sums to 73, like how he died on the 73rd day of the year. A ritual sacrifice on the 73rd day of the year. But look how perfect it is in three out of the four base ciphers. Of course, the word sacrifice by itself is also 73. He died on the 73rd day of the year. I notice the gematria of heart attack. It sums to 108 and 189, just like Major League. This was a Major League Baseball player. And like I mentioned, he was born March 12th. He died just two days after his 37th birthday. The upcoming MLB season is supposed to start on April 1st. And from his death to the start of the MLB season, he died 18 days before that's a big number with baseball. You know, the word baseball sums to 18, just like MLB. Like 18 players play the game. He died 18 days before the start of the baseball season. It's just sick because this guy was 37 years old, man. Wow. If you look up top, there's a there's a, a, a image of the book that I wrote titled The Killing Name. I talk about this same pattern. You know, the number 157, remember the baseball team he played for, Samson 157? Kobe Bryant died on his 157th day of his age. That number always shows up in ritual sacrifices. Of course, the name Kobe Bryant Samson 157 as well. But um, I put out this book. I think it was, it's been out for a few days now. And even though my videos, they reach a thousand views, only 18 people purchased the book that I, that took me almost five months to write. I don't know. I don't understand. You know, we, we work so hard to put the knowledge out there 
but nobody supports it, even the people from this community. So how can we expect, you know, the other people who are not part of this community to embrace the knowledge when the people from this own community don't embrace it? I mean, 18, 18 sales is something that took me five months to write. And truly, you know, this is my best work. It, that's why it took me so long to write. And I try my best not to make it that long. So that way, because I know, I know the majority of people don't like to read. Everybody likes to be told the information. Nobody likes to research it on their own. So I try to make it as short as possible, as clear as possible, as simple to, as, simple as possible. And only 18 people have, have ordered the book. Now, on... Um, I also have it where you can send the PayPal. I think 10 people ordered on, through PayPal. So altogether, that's 28 people. <laughs> 28 people. A book that I priced at $5. But um, how can we spread the knowledge? I mean, we do the work. We make the videos. Nobody shares the videos. Nobody likes the videos. We write books. Nobody purchases the books. I mean, how are we going to spread the word? How are we going to do this? How are we going to make a difference? I guarantee you this video has probably like three likes. And it's probably like 30, 40 people watching it. I haven't checked, but I'm just saying that's just my estimate. Because usually when I talk about a number, that's how many people just tend to watch the video. But um, this guy, yeah, he was born on a day with 37 numerology. His name Frankie's 37. He dies at 37. And then he dies on the 73rd day of the year. These same patterns I'm discussing in my book. There's no reason why this knowledge has been out there for nearly eight years. And this stuff, it, it, it's not a household. It's like, this is not a household information. It should be, everybody everybody in America should know this by now. But yet, it's only like, probably less than 1% of the population knows about this stuff. Every year, before the MLB season starts, before the NFL season starts, before the NBA season starts, Every single year. And even when the, when the MLB season ends, we see ritual sacrifices. Right? The set, number 73 also connects to the Dodgers, who just won the World Series. And it also connects to the Milwaukee Brewers. And this man played for the Brewers. That was the last team that he played for. Milwaukee Brewers and Jamal Joseph Simpson 73. Like, he died at seven at the uh, at on the third on the 73rd day of the year at the age of 37, right? The reflection of 73. And think about who just won the World Series. It was the Los Angeles Dodgers. Another team that connects to 73. The guy died 18 days before the start of the MLB season. And notice how Heart Attack is 108, Major League is 108. This player also played for the Chicago Cubs. Well, you know, I saw it doesn't say that he played for the Cubs, but I don't know I don't know if the picture's real, but I looked on on Google and then there's a jersey, there's a Cubs jersey for this guy. <laughs> Luckily and he wore a number thirty eight for the Cubs, supposedly according to this jersey. I'm not sure. If, the, if this is real or not, but this is something that I lo I saw earlier today when I was looking it up. You see Frankie De La Cruz, Chicago Cubs replica jersey, the number 38 for the Cubs. I don't know if he, according to his ba baseball reference, he didn't play for the Cubs, but I don't know if for some reason this, this jersey, it's up, it's up for sale on Amazon. His Cubs jersey, he wore a number 38. I don't know what this is about. Because um, it says here that he didn't play for the Cubs. He played for the Detroit Tigers, the Marlins, the Padres, and the Brewers. So isn't that strange? There's a Cubs jersey for this guy. Frankie De La Cruz, Chicago Cubs replica jersey. He never played for that team. And then he with the number 38. <laughs> what do we know about that number? Strange, right? Strange. Amazon. Hmm. Probably this is part of this sick ritual. They have a 38 Cubs jersey. But the point I was trying to make is that the Chicago Cubs won the World Series after a 108-year drought. You know, that's why there's 108 stitches on the baseball. That's a big number, 108. It connects to Major League. So think about a Major League Baseball pitcher 
dying from a heart attack, something that connects numerically with the term Major League. And there's 108 stitches on the baseball. The Chicago Cubs won the World Series after a 108-year drought. And 108 in numerology is, is 18. He died 18 days before the start of the MLB season. Several zone count in, uh, in numerology. So rest in peace, Frankie. If anybody's interested in reading the repetitiveness of this code, I'm going to leave a link in the comment section. You can support the book. It's only $5. You know, print it out. Share it with your friends. And show them. This stuff goes on every single day. I don't understand why this stuff is not worldwide knowledge already. In 2021, people still don't know about this. Unbelievable. And that's because us in this community are not sharing the work. We're not sharing the videos. We're not liking the videos. We're not supporting each other's projects, right? Yep, that's why. But rest in peace. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn this guy's first name. Really hard to say. Eulogio. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the comment section. And um, instead of giving your $5 to McDonald's, purchase some, purchase some knowledge. That's just my opinion. But you guys take care. And um, well, I said 50, it's only 15 people watching the video. And that's another thing about this work, right? Think about it. This channel has over 4,000 subscribers. But yet, Nobody gets notified. Nobody nobody even knows that this live stream is probably going on. 15 people watching this video? How is that even possible? There's 4, 000, over 4,000 people connect, subscribed here. 18 concurrent viewers. As I'm talking about the number 18. Well... Somebody says, how can you get the book? So if you go to the, it's, there's multiple ways. You can visit my blog. It's the top comment. It's the top post. You can either get it at Etsy or you can send me $5 on PayPal Cash App. But if you're going to do it that way, you have to include the email address so I can know where to send the the digital copy to. And, or just go to the link to the comment section of this video. And you'll see it. It'll be the top pin post, the top pin comment. But um, yeah, visit simple truth television and um, it's the top post. It came out on March 11th. This book came out on March 11th, so it's been out for about four days. And in a community of hundreds and thousands of people. I've only been able to sell 18 copies. Think about working for five months to just sell 18 copies. And one of the most, this is this is truly the most important work in the truth community. Nobody else does, can explain the things that we do in this community. The Jumanji community is definitely the most important community in the truth community. This is real knowledge. This is why I fell in love with it when the, the first time I came across it. There's nothing more concrete than this. So, hopefully that answers your question. I appreciate you. Oh, so somebody says, when you write out the number 18, it sums to 73. Look at that. And also sums to 46, like sacrifice. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I'll see you guys next time.